Now let's know what is known as binomial distribution or what is the basic overview of binomial distribution. We will study the definition of binomial distribution after we study Bernoulli's trials. But first let's know who gave this idea and concept of binomial distribution. So the person's name is James Bernoulli. So he is the one behind this idea of binomial distribution and he gave this idea in the year 1700 so long back this idea was there in his mind and he gave this but it was not published there and then it was published posthumously in the year 1713 so after 13 years of his giving the idea and even after his death this was published so this is all regarding dichotomous events. So there are various dichotomous alternatives. Now what are these? It is actually related to dichotomous alternatives. Now di means two, right? So dichotomous alternatives are the alternatives which may result in success or failure. Like I say, tossing of a coin, so it may be a head or a tail result. Like I say, the manufacturing of a product, it may be defective, may be non-defective. So there is always a scope for success or failure. And after some times, after some repeated trials, it even doesn't depend on each of the other trials. So such dichotomous alternatives are of wide importance when we study binomial distribution. So this is the basic overview, who gave this idea, who was the person behind this idea. In the next video, we'll be studying what are Bernoulli trials and after Bernoulli trials, we'll be falling into the depth of binomial distribution.